morning guys thanks for clicking on the channel uh, I'm gonna do a little video today to show you a way how to make chicken just as good as Nando's make I'm using Nando's as a reference because everyone I've cooked this meal for uh, said it tastes just like Nando's so I'm gonna cook it for you today and um, I'll start off by the preparation okay so here's what you're gonna need guys right a pair of scissors a sharp knife a large size freezer bag that seizes along top a grater and chicken breasts now when it comes to chicken breasts right guys I see loads of people making this mistake you got to go for grade A, right? It's got to be grade A chicken, right? Nothing less. Especially if you're a bodybuilder, okay? Because all the other chickens are just pumped full of God knows what. And for, you know, don't go places like farm foods and things like that for your chicken, okay? Because it's just pumped full of shit, basically. You need a chopping board. You need some rosemary, okay? So get the fresh, not the dried. You're gonna need some garlic. And you're gonna need some lemons, okay? So when you get your lemons, get the unwaxed. Okay, they don't have to be organic or all that, you know. Just get the unwaxed, okay? And we're gonna use two of them. So let's get started. So I'm gonna pre prepare four breasts okay and all this crap on you I can go for a start right so just get rid of all that it's no good to you not gonna do you any purpose right so get rid of all that shit like so Right, so we've got rid of all that, okay? So the next thing we do, taking our knife, let them out the way for a minute. We're just gonna score the breasts, okay? Just score them like that, okay? We're three quarters of the way down. So there's the chicken breasts, all scored nicely to take on the juices from the lemons and the garlic, okay? So take an old freezer bag put the four breasts in, okay? Simple as that Job done So we start with the rosemary, okay? So just take a sprig like so Pull them apart, okay? Any shape, don't have to be fussy. Just pull them off like that. Pull them against the way they grow in, you know? You've got plenty in there as well, because this adds a lot of flavour. Smells absolutely beautiful, by the way. So that's why I'm saying go with fresh. Okay, don't go with the dry in the jars, go with the fresh every time. And you want to put quite a lot in. So honest to God, this is absolutely, this adds a bit of freshness to the meal, okay? So there you go. So there's my rosemary, okay? I'm just gonna chop it up roughly, like so, okay? So that goes in the bar again. Get it all in there. I gotta say guys, if it's for smell of vision, you see why I'm using fresh, okay? So next we're gonna take the garlic. Okay, give it a whack like that. Don't be shy. So we're gonna use 
sorry with the dog barking next door guys so we can use four claws alright and this is how you separate them flat the knife just bang it down feels as easy as that right flat the knife just give it a whack peel garlic it's five actually to this morning of it just give it another whack So that's the way you separate the skin from the flesh, okay? Just give it a whack with the knife, flat of the knife. Don't have to be a massive whack. You feel it splitting anyway. So, obviously if you like a lot of garlic, add more. But for four breasts, I had four cloves. There we go. Just a little bit on there. So I'm just going to chop that up now, okay? Just roughly chop. Again, fresh garlic, don't use the jar stuff. fresh right? it's really good for the heart and for high blood pressure and you need the raw but if you're gonna eat the raw the health benefits okay once you peel it like I showed him and chopped it like this leave it stand for about 10 minutes okay because that reduces something called allicin which is really good for the heart so there you go there's a the garlic chopped okay so that's going in next Just like so, more goes into the bag like that. Right, let's move on to the lemons. So as I said guys, we're going to use two unwaxed lemons, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do using my grater, using the thin edge, I'm going to take some rind. Beautiful smell again guys, can't be fresh. So I'm taking the rind of one lemon, okay? Two is a bit overpowering. Because don't forget we're adding lemon juice as well. Fresh lemon juice, straight from the lemons. So the rind of one lemon, okay? And this adds massive flavour to the dish. Be careful, you know, you don't cut your fingers on it, okay? There we go, job done. Right, so the rind of one lemon. So the rind has gone into the bag now as well, okay? So we got rosemary, garlic, and lemon rind. I'm gonna chop up two lemons now and squeeze the juice in. Then it's going in the fridge for an hour. And uh, we we'll come back to it. Squeeze them in. You come by those squeezers, you know. If you want to do that way. There you go, there's a the juice of two lemons, okay? So what we do then guys, leave an air in the bag, okay? Seal it up. That's why you need to get these bags that seal, okay? And move it all about so everything gets evenly coated.
just like so, right? There we go. Just like that. Then it goes into the fridge for an hour, guys. But we only do it overnight. What you notice is the chicken will turn white. That's from the acid from the lemons. It's only good, okay? It actually speeds up the cooking time. And what we're gonna do, guys? I got some large wholemeal pita. I'm gonna put them into pita bread, and we're gonna serve it with some sticky rice. So I'm just putting the chickens into the fridge now. And take Lady Boo for a walk for an hour. And then we prepare the meal. See you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, we're back. So she ran a little walk. She went out for an hour. So I've just prepped a few things here, right? So this is what's going in the pita bread, okay? Some lettuce. Don't forget to wash it, guys, right? Pesticides. Some salsa, just the ones you guys dip in your uh, nacho chips. One slice of pineapple, get the one in juice, not syrup. Some onion, some pita bread. There'll also be some cheese going in there, so I've grated one ounce. This is the rice, the sticky rice, it's 130 grams, okay? I'll come down to our protein and our carbs and things now later. And also done a small chopped up salad which I'll mix in with the rice. So I'll go through it again, what goes inside the pita. Lettuce and onion first, okay? Then you put your chicken breast in, then you put your cheese in, then you put the onions in, if I haven't already said, and then one slice of pineapple. If you don't like pineapple, don't put it in. If you don't like salsa, don't put it in. Put something else in. And then I'll prepare the rice in the microwave, add the salad, and we'll plate it up. Let's get cooking the chicken. Right then, guys. So I'm gonna put some coconut oil in the pan, okay? It is non-stick. But I like the taste of the coconut oil. You don't have to use coconut oil. You can use whatever you want, okay? So I'm just gonna take some out. Put it in the pan. And I'm only cooking one breast now because the other breasts are for the rest of the family when they get home from work. I'm just gonna coat the pan in the coconut oil. So the chicken breast going in, okay? What you do guys, you put the lid over there and you turn it down to a lower sheet and just leave our sit there for about four minutes. So just for reference guys, this meal here has 45 grams of protein and 65 grams of carbs. It has minimal fat, most of it coming from the coconut oil, which is good healthy fats. There you go. <clears throat> so chicken breast is done guys, right? I'm turning the heat off. And what I do at this stage, I put some cheese on it, okay? Put the lid over the top while I prepare the pita bread. So with the pita bread it goes in the toaster. I'm just going to put it in there for a while. Everything else is prepared, ready. I'm just going over to the microwave now to do the rice. So there's the rice on salad done. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. A little bottle, ah, uh, bottle. A touch of extra virgin olive oil. If you're buying olive oil, guys, get in a glass dark bottle. A 
some good fats going in there salt and pepper Himalayan pink rock salt I'll bring out the sweetness in the tomatoes some black pepper so there's the rice and salad then cheese is melted pit that is done let's put it all together so here we go guys so put some lettuce in first some onions chicken breast yeah, yeah I've got hands like asbestos I've been doing it for years rest of the salad rest of the onion some pineapple rest of the cheese some salsa there it is let's play it up There it is guys, the finished meal. Easy to do and I guarantee you you'll be doing it regular because it does taste absolutely beautiful and it does compare with the Nando's. As I said yesterday on the egg video, fraction of the price. Let's tuck in. Right then guys, so we have 45 grams of protein and 65 grams of carbs. Let's try the salad. Absolutely beautiful. Let's try the pita. No bullshit guys, absolutely amazing. Taste the garlic, loads of lemon coming through and the rosemary. Ten out of ten from tank. So there you go guys, that's how I cook my chicken. Obviously if I'm in contest mode I uh, Eliminate the rice and sometimes I even eliminate the pita bread if uh, it's that close to a show. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I hope you'll try it guys honestly now. Well, um, leave a comment down below, thumbs up, get the channel moving forward and if you haven't already and you like this kind of stuff please press subscribe. Thanks guys, see you on the next one. Peter <laughs>